Um, hi, I'm Lisha Miller, and this is Mikey. Hi, Mikey. <laughs> Mikey is a five-year-old quarter horse gilding. Um, he's here today to get his feet done, and I got to look at his whorls while we were at it. Mikey has a single center whorl, perfectly centered right here. Um, that tells us nothing except that we need to look at the rest of the head to see what his temperament's going to be like. From his head, we see a mostly straight profile. He's got a hint of a moose nose right here for some confidence. He's got an uncomplicated chin, just a nice soft chin here. Oh, look at it get tight when I play with it. Sorry about that. So just a nice, steady, easygoing horse from that. But then, if we look at the rest of his whorls across his body, he's got some nice jaw whorls that feather clear up into the cheeks. They start in the jaw, though, so we're not going to get the tension that we might see with a whorl right in the cheek. Instead, we're going to get a left brain horse, calm, confident, curious, easygoing. And then, as we get further back, this one goes clear up into the temple about. You see the little bit of a whorl here? So that's going to add very intelligent, quite a thinker. We have a little bit of whirl. They match on both sides all the way across. A little bit of a whirl here, just behind the throat latch, for a little bit of a straight spot in the neck. And then he comes down to this long zipper whirl, clear down the front of the neck. So he's going to work well off the hindquarters. His pectoral whirls are very unusual for a quarter horse. I've seen this in a couple cut and bred horses. It will give big reach out in front. You can really get ahead. I think that in cutting horses, it allows them to get down and really work the cow, get down low. So you've got these big pectoral whorls that come clear up to here on both sides. So then, come here, bud. I'm just going to turn him around here a bit. He's also got girth whorls. You can see it here in the shade. He's got girth whorls on both sides. And when he, he came to the person who has him now, he was very cinchy and it had he had to spend quite a bit of time getting that worked out. So girth rolls will show a horse who's sensitive through the girth. And when you saddle him up, you got to take your time, get him comfortable with it. He's also got belly whirls here, which is supposed to mean a big belly. I don't know that I'm real comfortable with that, but I don't have anything else for it. And as uh, long as they're on both sides, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. And then, because that wasn't enough whirls, he's got... He's got a whirl down each hindquarter here. This shows a big, powerful hindquarters that can really push off hard. But it also shows hind legs that kind of trail out behind. I forgot the flank whirls here, that reminds me. His flank whirls only come down to here. They don't come clear down to the bottom of the flank. So that also means the legs will tend to trail out behind, which goes well with the hindquarter whirls. So he's got a fascinating combination of whirls that all work together to show the same thing. The flank whirls don't come clear down, which means the hind legs will trail out behind. The hindquarter whirls mean that the hind legs will tend to trail out behind, even with his very powerful hindquarters that he works well off of. And the zipper whirl in front shows a horse who works well off powerful hindquarters. It's a fascinating combination of whirls.